hi guys welcome back to my current nation youtube channel in today's tutorial we are going to be making ankara cross side bag and these are the materials we'll be using this is lining this is african print fabric also known as ankara fabric tape roll scissors this is a zipper glue gun a stick gun i'll be using marco for this cross side bag, we'll be using a for paper for our pattern. And we want to measure the length is 11 inches and the width is 8 inches. So 11 inches by 8 inches, that is for the pattern paper. So we fold into the equal parts. I fold it to the 8 inches part. So when that is done, from this end now, measure 5 inches and make a mark. This is 5 inches and make a mark. Then what you want to do is to get a round of the amazing plates. We are going to put this from this top here to connect to these five inches and you're going to make a mark there so when that is done i cut it off This will be the pattern for the bag we are making. So you place this your pattern on your mark and you are going to you're going to trace it out and cut it out. So you'll be cutting two pieces of this from your marker. You'll be cutting the front part and the back part. So guys, when you have pieced out your pattern, you have two pieces of this. This is the front and the back. So the next thing you want to do is to wrap this all with your Ankara fabric. So you are going to wrap this up with the help of your plastic gum. You are going to do that. So guys, I have wrapped this up in my fabric. And I also use lining to cover the inside of the bag so you can see how neat it is. So the next thing you want to do is to measure the side of the bag. So you place your taper from this point of your bag. I'm going to measure this. This is 26 inches from this point to this point is 26 inches. Then you also measure this down, this down part. And this is 8.2 inches. So we are going to cut that out on the marker. This is for the round part. Let's measure it. Twenty six inches and the weight is four inches. For the down part, eight point two inches by four inches. So this will be for this part and this small one for this down part. So the next thing we want to do is to create a space where we are going to put 
a zipper on this part so we are still going to measure from this end measure four inches from this end four inches four inches and from this part also four inches and we are going to roll it we are going to roll the four inches i'm also going to roll the four inches so our zipper is going to be between this space so since the width of this marco is four inches. I'm going to get the middle, which is two inches. So I'm going to mark two inches like that. And I'll also roll it. So from this point, I'm just going to make like half an it's not up to half an inch. I just want just one part of tape. We're going to mark it on each point and we are going to roll it up. When you are done with your measurements, you want to cut this off. So guys, after cutting out the open, the next thing you want to do is to wrap this up with your Ankara fabric. I am going to do this with the help of your Ebosti gum or Shoemaker gum. After wrapping, so this is where we are going to be fixing our zipper. With the help of your hot glue, we are going to be fixing zipper this way I am done fixing the zip and I also use line to cover it up I've also wrapped this other side of the bag and the next thing I want to do is to fix handle for the back of the bag and this is the Ankara fabric we'll be using for the handle of this bag. I've already ironed a strong interfacing on it. So let's let's measure it. So this is 32 inches by 5 inches. So what you want to do is to go to your sewing machine, you're going to Hold this way. I'm going to stitch from the beginning to the end. So, guys, I have stitched as you can see. So, the next thing you want to do is to turn this inside out. And when that is done, you're going to go to your pressing iron and press it. So, guys, I have turned inside out. And I ironed it, you can see how neat it is. The part that I stitch is in the middle. It's in the middle. So we're attaching this to the back of our bag. I'm going to attach this this way. So I'm going to use your hot glue to glue it to your bag. Just going to hold it to dry. When it's dry, I'm going to also fix this other handle by this corner here. So I'm also going to use my hot glue to glue it. And hold it down to dry. So guys. When it is dry, when the handle is dry, we'll set this bag. I 
our side then we are going to work with the front part we are going to be gluing this part this way with the help of our hot glue we are going to do that so what you will just be doing is applying glue and you are going to be gumming your bag Just going to be coming down okay, I'm done fixing the front part of the bag as you can see. So we are going to fix this part before we fix the back part I'm just going to apply your hot glue I'm going to glue it to the back When you are done fixing the bottom of the bag, you can now fix the back of the bag. So you open the zip before you start fixing the back of the bag. We are still going to use hot glue. To fix it to the bag. So guys, I am done fixing the back of the bag, as you can see. So the next thing you want to do is to use your bias tape to cover this edge of the bag from this point to this point you can decide to leave yours or better still you cover it using bias tape you can use your hot glue to do this or you use UA shoe to cover it so guys I cover from this part to this part so we are also going to cover down part So guys, we have come to the end of this tutorial. Please subscribe, turn on notification bell so you will be notified every time I drop a new video. Like this video and share to your friends and family. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in my next video.